Hey folks, Chris Wilson here. I really like to hop on here and, and share positive information, positive news, and try and keep things positive, happy, exciting. Uh, we got enough crap on social media, but today, today I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm hurt, uh, I'm disappointed in, in the system. My beautiful 12, uh, grade 12, 17 year old daughter uh, went to school today feeling excited, feeling good about herself, ready to learn. Uh, and she sat down in class and after a short period of time was centered out by the teacher and was told the outfit that she was wearing made or could make her or the teacher's assistant, who was a male, feel uncomfortable. So she was removed from class, uh, brought down to the principal's office and sent home. So my daughter walks home in tears. And I'm sorry, it, it's, I'm holding the camera and if it's shaking, I apologize. I'm, I'm pretty upset at, at this happening in 2021. We've seen this show up online. We've seen things, stories of things happening throughout the United States or somewhere else. And it can never happen to us. It'll never hit home. Uh, and it hit home. It's the, I, I can't even explain how disappointing it is that in 20. 21 for a teacher to center a student out and say what you're wearing is making people feel uncomfortable uh, and drag her out of the and drag her down to the office so a little background i heard this story and i was livid i i you know and i'll post a picture of her outfit and then you can you can decide from there but i'm pretty conservative i've always wanted my children to dress conservatively and that's neither here nor there but regardless she was sent home wearing for wearing this beautiful dress and a turtleneck because uh, we know how uh, you know inappropriate turtlenecks can be they just you know that's why they sell so many of these things uh, so I talked to the principal and I asked or the actually spoke with the principal and was referred to the vice principal who understood what had happened was wrong but was just kind of like oh crap we're in it now uh, the principal actually and i asked i said okay was this the outfit she was wearing which she confirmed yes i asked her if she felt that that made her feel uncomfortable and she quietly said no and that she didn't feel there was an issue with it uh and i asked i said hey could i see the uh the dress code you have a dress code let's drag it up because i want to make sure that you know there's if she's somehow wearing something that doesn't meet dress code uh then i'll i'll take that up with her you know i want to hold her accountable as well and so she nervously pulled it up, who then shared that they had just shared this with the students. So this wasn't made in 95 and forgot about, uh, which was my first thought. Their dress code had four points on it. No alcohol, tobacco, clothing, uh, no nudity, no offensive language. Not to wear clothing that is distracting to teaching or learning. That's in the dress code in a high school in 2021 that you can't wear clothes that are distracting how about if you're a teacher and you're distracted by clothing that your your students are wearing you're in the wrong profession maybe you should try something new so i need you the internet you know we've seen the internet stand up behind people uh we've seen them take down corporate giants this is unacceptable my mother was a teacher she was a phenomenal teacher and i always stood up for you know those pd days as parents we know they suck it's another day that we're like oh crap what am i going to do with my kid on this day those are professional development days it's literally a school this is where people go to learn these teachers need they have professional development days why aren't they taught sensitivity i was told that oh i'm sorry she's a little bit old school i can think of a lot of things that are a little bit old school that are completely unacceptable so do we just say, oh, well, you know, it is what it is. She's in a union, can't do anything about it. Just suck it up and sorry about your daughter. We got to do something, folks. We got to let people know, you know, hopefully we got a story coming out here in Kamloops this week. I know some people there uh, and this is unacceptable. We shouldn't be treating our females like this. We shouldn't be telling them that they can't dress a certain way. This is absurd. A female teacher, a female vice principal, What's wrong with this world? My daughter's in tears because of this whole incident. And 
I talk to my daughter and there's no way I would come on and talk to you without first talking to her because I want to make sure this is okay. And she said, you know what? It's okay because if we make any change for someone that comes behind me, then it's worth it. So this isn't me going on a rant and throwing my daughter under the bus. This is what change needs to happen. So please share with your friends, discuss with people. If you know someone that's a teacher, tell them that you can't say this anymore. You can't talk to students like this, that these are are little humans that you're supposed to get excited about learning in the rest of their life, not demoralize them, beat them down and send them home. So you tell me, I'm gonna post the outfit. I think she's beautiful. Uh, everyone's got their, their own opinion, but I mean, uh, it, a turtleneck. She's wearing a turtleneck under a black dress that goes to her knees. So you be the judge. I love you guys. I'm sorry that I came on this frustrated, but this is, something's gotta change. So I'm just gonna stand with my daughter and I hope that other people stand up and I hope that there's change. I hope that they do some professional development that includes some sensitivity training and you know how to not hold women back when you're a woman holding women back. I, no one should hold anyone back. How about that? It's a school. We're supposed to get people going. All right, I love you guys. Uh, pass it on, share with your friends. Let's make sure that this never happens to anyone's daughter. And I've seen a bunch of comments that say this has happened to their kids. And this is a thing. We got to fix this. Have a great day. Peace, love, guys.